Fated to be loved by villains, a monster trouble Elijah Kresenak's impression of Dowd Campbell can be summed up in one word, weird. His whole person is completely elusive, he acts differently, like an onion where the more layers you peel, the more questions pop up, is he angry? He had not said anything at this freshman welcome party, he accepted the partner request without complaints, so I thought we could talk about things while walking around today. He had said not a word of his own accord, at best, he'll reply with Anne, an or up. Normally, she would feel a bit out of place, but she could never have known that there's an option hindering her. Perception, how should I deal with an angry man, and fortunately for Dowd, she boasted the social capabilities of an ape when it came to dealing with the opposite sex, if it was work, she could slap some steel on her face and manage, but friends in equal footing, her brain lags, even if he's really angry, she can't do anything, after all, didn't she try to beat him up on their first meeting, it is a little strange that we would be angry about it at this time, but she also can't deny that it's a possibility, but if I dig a little deeper here, I might be able to get information about Duke Tristan walking around with that thought in mind, she unknowingly arrived at the basement of Berkeley Hall at some point in time, they accidentally walked into a deserted place, Place. They were the only ones around here right now, Uwilija couldn't help but frown as she looked at the cages lying around, inside were live monsters, they were obviously brought to the academy as research materials, there's even a medium sized monster, oh my gosh, at least a squad of regular knights must be dispatched to be able to deal with a medium sized monster, it's not something you can just keep inside an academy full of students, the faculty are also very irresponsible, no matter how special we are, this isn't worth it. She clicked her tongue and moved closer to the cage, bowing her head. Maybe it was because of that, the discovery of a monster caged in a location that would never be seen from the outside. Even before being fully aware of it, her brain, which had seen countless similar creatures in combat, had already completed its calculations. This exploded within seconds. Sir, you have to avoid you. As soon as she said that, a heat wave rose in front of her eyes, Elijah's body froze at the same time as the brightly approaching flames engulfed her vision, she normally would have been able to nimbly dodge. However, the pure white flame triggered something deep inside her memory, Elijah, hide here, here. Never come out, damned devil followers, this way. Try killing me, you fucking bitches, explosions, flames, screams, stumps fishy smell, burning family photo, the reflection of the blade flashing in the pool of stagnant blood, dead bodies. But before she could shake off those images, the flames were already inches away from her. Danger, as that thought passed through her head, someone ran into her, what followed is a violent collision with the floor, a groan came out of Elijah's mouth as she rolled several times. Ah, I fortunately or unfortunately, thanks to the intense pain, she was knocked off that dreamy state and regained normal thinking, it was thanks to Dowd Campbell, who was a mess, on top of her, he had unsightly burns all over his back, a broken limb and stab wounds all over the body caused by shrapnels, it was a serious injury sustained from protecting her from the explosion. He could die if he's not treated immediately, say sir, hold hold on, why, why did you do that, recognizing that fact, she said in a trembling voice, why? Why the hey did he do that? Wasn't he acting angry at her just a while ago? Uh, above all, didn't he say he liked Princess Tristan? He had no reason to do this for her, who's basically his pseudo enemy, Dowd Campbell, or rather the clone, lifted his head with difficulty and looked at her. If the clone wasn't equipped with an option, its existence was to just get the attention of the enemy and taking the blow. Clowns purchased from the point shop are programmed with that intention, however, the clown with the cold gentleman option applied decided that that's not a very cool thing to say, and so, what he said instead was, because that's what I have to do, while Elijah's eyes widened and was at a loss, then, Dowd's clown was spread eagled on the floor, smiling contentedly, he must have thought to himself, just how cool and gentlemanly that exit was. Hey. However, Elijah's expression stiffened as she heard a series of not-so-gentle screams, the cages were destroyed by the explosion just now, 
so all the monsters inside them got released. I don't know what that means. Ella just stood up while muttering, checking her condition. She had several swollen joints, which would hinder her movements. She also had no weapon, at most, she could use the rebars from the debris, however, this was not a mock battle nor sparring, the opponents are real monsters. Not to mention that those of them, considering that even one small monster could tear apart several adult men with ease, this is a number that could send even a regular knight running in fright, perhaps Marquis Kendride, who imparted her combat skills, would be angry if he saw such a cowardly act, however, unfavorable fights should be avoided, there is no shame in retreating, this is something that needs to be emphasized again and again, however, her, her gaze returned to the man lying on the floor, does he have some obsessive compulsive disorder that compels him to dive right in when he sees someone in danger, it's not even funny as a joke, Elijah then took a potion from her belt, this was a high quality potion given by Marquis Kendride to be used in an emergency, it's so precious that even getting one a year is difficult. Normally, it's best to use it on herself and move forward from there, but she unhesitatingly splashed it onto Dowd Campbell instead. Isn't it the hero's job to save people, so, she can't let him die here, you know, an injured body, monsters, this is nothing, especially so, when it comes to protecting someone. It really was this way for her, system message main quest renewed. Main quest monster trouble. Keep the situation under control. Heavy penalty will be imposed if there's too many casualties. Reward. Exclusive equipment materials why not just Kaimi then? You unleash a bunch of monsters in a crowd of newbie freshmen and you want me to keep the casualties as low as possible? Wait, where are we going? I need to do something, President, please inform the priests. I replied to Anor, who shouted when she saw me move in haste, we need to protect the students, I shouted while moving, priority first, while Anor would bring the priests to treat the injured and reduce casualties, the most important thing is still the initial response, in the first place, we need to reduce the number of injured by reducing the number of monsters before they could get out of the basement, with that thought in mind, I hurriedly ran into the basement and saw an appalling scene, oh, Elijah was currently fighting, surrounding her were monsters and my clan laying on the floor. Five of the six monsters had already been defeated, with the last one only needing the final blow. These are not artificial monsters in a mock battle, but real monsters and yet she dealt with all of them with just a piece of rebar. Is she still human? Well, in the first place, Elijah was not a character who will directly participate in battles before she awakens as a full-fledged hero, she's always on the somewhat calculated side, if she's fighting like this even before that, that means that there is someone she really wants to protect, but wasn't there only my clone here, and why do I have an ominous feeling about this, uh, I don't know. I first retrieved the clone before she notices that there's two identical people, in the meantime, Elijah had delivered the finishing blow to the last monster, she let out a sigh, as she wiped the sweat off her forehead, or with the clown now retrieved, our eyes meet as I sit idly by, Helige's expression suddenly turned bright, even though she was exhausted and unable to even lift an arm, she was proudly smiling, that's a relief, favorability level of the target Elijah Chrysonex has changed, favorability level has been upgraded from curiosity to interest, Redeemable rewards will be added. Chances of awakening the second gift has increased. She is an important character. Main scenario has been changed.